Well, finally got the old welding card all zapped together, or torch card, I should say. So, that framework is all old bed frame. And then these hooks here for the hose, those are just uh, pipe clamps. And then uh, for my welding rods, that's just exhaust pipe. And then on the bottom, I've just got frost plugs welded onto the ends. Um, handle here, that's just a piece of old plumbing pipe. And then the holder right here, that's a four foot uh, fluorescent light uh, housing that I just cut off and uh, bent the ends around and welded them together. And then I just welded on a couple of 5 16 bolts with some wing nuts for chains. Got a couple up high and a couple down low, depending on what size tanks I got. That's why there's so many bars across here, depending on what tanks I have. Wheels are off a snowblower. And then I just got bolts welded in. And then uh, another piece of angle across just to kind of sturdy things up. And then uh, the bottom here, that steel was uh, left by the previous owner of my house. Um, it was some sort of ramp assembly thing. I just cut the edges off and uh, pieced it together and got that dropped in there. So yeah, basically all I got to do now is uh, go over it with a flap wheel and uh, paint it up. But otherwise, uh, I've got very little money into this thing. I think probably under $20. Um, you know, had to get new. Or that exhaust pipe that's on there is new. Same with those frost plugs. Same with those hooks. And uh, one of the bolts for the wheels is new as well. The other one I had laying around. But uh, yeah, damn sight cheaper than 200 that uh, Princess Auto wants for one. So I got her home here. Just used the old uh, free Honda front end loader. Worked pretty good. Uh, actually, I should tell you a bit about this thing. So, got this thing off a buddy of mine uh, in the fall. Uh, the engine was seized up solid on it. And basically, I don't know, I think it was a couple summers ago, I had done some work on it for him. Uh, the, it's one of them electric shift ones. And he put a new shift motor in it wouldn't change gears um over on this side here you've got your kind of emergency shifter thing you put vice grips on it and uh still wouldn't shift gear so it was a mechanical issue inside so i got her apart and someone had obviously been in there at some point and uh the little shift fork thing uh ratchet assembly whatever you want to call it well the end of it was bust off and uh, I got looking at a parts explosion and figured out, well, someone's been in there and lost, uh, lost the shim that's supposed to go behind it. So basically it was riding right on the end of the little shift fork and it snapped it off, it stretched it out. So okay, that's fine. He goes to Honda, gets a new one. I got to go one again for him. He was planning on buying another machine at some point anyways. So he said uh, he'll sell this to me cheap the next year. I said, okay, fine. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. Like it's you know, right up my alley, she's she's a little rough, but uh, that just means I'm not scared of putting scratches on it. So anyways, in the fall there, he uh, calls me up and uh, says, you still want this pile of shit? I said, uh, yeah, I'm still interested, why? Well, I'm going to send you a video. He sends me a video, and he's hauling on the pull cord, and it will not turn whatsoever. So I said, yeah, I'm, I'm still interested. So he's like, all right, just come get this piece of shit. I'm sick of dealing with it. So, okay, that's fine. I go there, pick it up. And he had the plow for it, so that was perfect. I just had to get a winch to make that work. So I went on uh, Amazon, and uh, that was just under $200 to my door. Came with the control box, the winch, you name it. And uh, has a little remote control for it. And then it's also got the... Uh, thumb up and down right there but uh, anyways before I got into any of that I figured oh I better try and get her going so I had her at work got it to turn over got it to fire up and it just yeah made all sorts of screeching scraping noises and locked up immediately 
So I pulled the back cover off it and uh, lo and behold, the uh, one-way clutch on the, uh, for the ring gear on the flywheel let go. So I tore it all apart and figured out, oh, there's something missing in here. So I, again, got looking at a parts explosion. Well, there's supposed to be a needle bearing assembly between the uh, ring gear and the crankshaft, and that was not in there. So basically the entire time he had it, the ring gear was basically just idling on the one-way clutch and it eventually, you know, gave out. But, you know, that's kind of to be expected. So whoever's into this motor did not know what they were doing. I, they must have had a handful of leftover parts, but it's... I, I ended up going on eBay, finding a used uh, flywheel and ring gear and all that stuff. The only thing I had to buy from Honda was a $5 shim that was, of course, missing as well. Got her slapped back together and uh, runs pretty darn good. Got the worst of the chunkies cleaned out. Just kind of brake cleaned them down the drain hole for the oil and uh, ran her a little bit with some ATF in it and then swapped out the filter with a new one. I got a bit of ATF and uh, diesel oil in there. But uh, yeah, she runs pretty darn good. I'll fire it up here for you. It's just been running, so it's not cold start or anything. She's a little clacky. I, I gotta get in there and adjust the push rods on it here at some point. It just, yeah been using it to push snow and really don't want to take it apart and find out I need more parts uh, until winter's over yeah my buddy was nice enough too he gave me the gave me the foot stirrups those are off of Kawasaki they were a little big for it so I just trimmed the ends off and uh, re-welded them back on and gave her a shot of trim clad and those are working pretty good and then I went and added the buddy seat on here and that's actually one of them uh, corner back seats out of uh, an old 3S10. So yeah, I just I welded a piece of pipe to the bottom, just uh, tickled that onto the bar, tacked her on back here, and yeah, works pretty good. She's good and sturdy, it ain't going anywhere, and then just folds up out of the way. And uh, then I added this here uh, reverse light, and I got her tied into the reverse light circuit on the dash, so you put her in reverse, it comes on, you put her back in forwards, and it goes out. Then I also wired in a toggle switch up here so I can turn it on all the time, but it's it's wired into the key so I don't leave it on and drain the battery or anything. But yeah. Oh, and I put new tires on it and front wheel bearings, but uh, that's, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's just maintenance and stuff, but overall, pretty happy with it. Anyways, thanks for watching.